Team Global Swearing here bringing you car games on motorcycles. I mean, what do you get stuff? Um, first of all, before I get into the main video, I just want to show start up a new project I've been doing. I'm organizing into a whole bunch of types, and I am going to be basically getting back to the community from all the years I spent. I'm starting basically make like starter packs and starter decks. Lots of different types, like, got some categories here, Materia, Gen X, a whole bunch of stuff, basically. And, you know, these are basically just, like, nine card packs, they have seven cards from the theme, rare included, some have hollows or synchros or whatever, plus two other good generic common cards, like Threading Roar, Call of the Haunted, all that kind of stuff. So, just wanted to you know this is something I was starting on. Anyways, deck of the week. Um, this is probably going to be the last thing I post this year, just because I'm going to Israel and I hate it, but, uh, whatever. Let's get on to it. This is a Junk Warrior deck, redo of probably one of the first Synchro decks I've ever done. Just want to show you what I've got. First of all, staying true to the old theme. Stars this deck are three J-Sinks and three Craybons. Could use another way to pimp out another Craybons. But, yeah. Um, basically, the idea of this deck is make Junk Warrior as big as possible, so obviously he sinks in there. Um, I use him to give back the Crabons, who acts as an alternate tuner, and also a giant, just make him a beat sick. Of course, he needs some support, so triple glow bolt. Great, great, great. Keeps on coming back. Uses bait for Junk Synchron. Afterwards, I could essentially just make... Well, you'll see there, but great part of the engine, and the final part of the original engine was Triple Tricky, which I basically used to discard the Psycho Bolt Hedgehog, then Junk Synchron to get it back, and make a Stardust Dragon, or go for Junk Warrior, or whatever. Right, now we get into some of the newer stuff, since, like I said, this is a revitalization with newer cards. we got two newers now. Here is a good card. Level 1 turns into level 2 when you use for Synchro. Plus 1 draw power. It's a great combo with Junk Synchron because he comes out. You can make your Armory Arms. You can make your Junk Warriors. Hit your pluses. And you're probably going to have some Cobalt something you have to revive for effect by that point. From Quick Draw Sense. Not a target for tuning, which I'll show you in a bit. But, um, gets out all the miscellaneous Synchros. Helps make Junk Destroyer easily or a couple others. So. Good run here. Plus, this discard power, so give this cool bolts and tuning wares. Run Synchron Explorer, who, like his name suggests, when you summon him, he summons a Synchron from your grave. So give back him for level 7, or give back Junk Synchron for level 5. First Junk Synchron. Two Scarecrows. I do have Faders now, but these actually work a little bit better in this deck. Just because um, you want stuff in your grave for Junk Synchron to revive. So, comes out once again, level 4 Army Arm. And it's just great because him actually going into the grave means you, get, you can cycle him back into your deck and use it again. As opposed to Battlefader, which just gets removed from play. And finally, right at Monster Lineup is a like Commander. It's basically in here to another target for Emergency Teleport. It makes him nice, good level 3 tuner. Alright, moving on to spells and traps. Of course, we'll start with speed. We've got tuning. This is new card, Star Strike. Basically, lets you add one tuner with Synchron that's named to your hand, then you discard one card, then you mill one card. Which is great. You get your Junk Synchron if you already have stuff in the grave. Hopefully, mill into some like um, Quill Bolt or uh, Tuning Wear or something. You get your Quick Draw if you have some monsters in your hand, you're ready to sink. There's a lot you could do with this. Really good card. Get the Italian here. Like I said, three crab bombs, one commander. That's four targets for this. Good to make a quick synchro or something. One for one. So let's rediscard those globals. So let's rediscard the trickies, whatever I feel like. Special summon the tuning wear. Great. Speed up synchros. Got Bliss Burial. Bury basically any level two or lower in this deck for Junk Synchron to revive or. If I have Synchron Explorer in my hand, maybe it's Junk Synchron itself. Something to do with it. Card Destruction Priest, and your draw power. 
get this. Like I said before, you could cycle through everything, get back your junk cycle to use later, get back your um, scarecrows. Plus if you get within it, it's plus two in your hand. Well, I guess minus three, whatever it gives you advantage. And of course, standard MST. Only have room for one, so only one here. True need is great for protection. Great for protection. I always run this. You cannot see me without it. And of course, standard reward. Actually, I don't have a dark hole in here. Hmm. Tell me what you think about that. Actually, not running a deck with a dark hole. So, yeah. Um, traps, we got, of course, Call of Haunted, Alternative Revival. Um, this is kind of a tech, but kind of a good card at the same time. Imperial Iron Wall. If you don't know what it does, basically, as long as this thing's out, continuous trap, no cards can be removed from play. This is great, great, great for stuff like, um, Cobalt, where the effect is that if I control a tuner, I could revive him, but then after he dies, he gets removed. Not anymore. It's continuous Cobalt Mill. Blue bike, just like use one for your junk synchron. Um, junk synchron would revive the Crevons, get one of those guys back by effect, synchro with the um, Quibolt to go for a junk warrior, revive by effect the Quibolt to get back, make an army arm. It's a great combo, it's great synergy. Plus, it's also awesome because like stops Caius, stops those nasty RFP decks. It's pretty good tech. Finally, give him more protection. Two bribes. Divine Wrath. And two Convulses. Basically, I chose this lineup because the entire idea of this deck is just get out Junk Warrior, make him as big as possible, and make sure that you protect him. So I'd much rather do protection stuff than actually stuff that destroys and negates. Alright, finally. Couldn't be a Junk Warrior deck without him. Run two of them. You should all know what it is by now, I don't even need to explain it, but just get huge, huge, huge attack boost. Giant Beat Six of Doom. And awesome. Get two army arms. Now these effects do stack by the way, so if you have two equipped to one, they would take the attack of um, their monster twice on top of whatever else you're doing, so amazing. Like I said, that's Kremlin's plus Quibble makes it easy. Quibble's junk warrior, laugh, laugh, laugh. And also another card, so I'll show you in a second. Um, Android, because I have some cycles are born here. It's good to actually run one as opposed to again three junk warriors. Um, Flambo Earthquakes. This actually allows me to do a combo that I was thinking when I usually made the Flambo deck. Obviously, he has piercing, starts at 21, and just keeps on growing every time he deals damage. So, 21 first attack, second attack 24, so on, so on. Quick one of these guys. 31. With piercing, it's only you're dealing damage equal to their attack. So, 41, piercing, you deal their attack twice. It just keeps on growing and growing and growing. If you have something to protect this, this is a deadly, deadly combo. Potentially could, like, two hit kill something. If not more. Um, got Turbo Warrior in here as my level 6 tech of choice for the, um, Quibble. I mean, quick draw. Basically, he's in here. I don't need the Drill Warrior in here. It doesn't really need his direct attack or anything. But Turbo is great. He negates Monarchs. He negates Synchros. It's just a good negation card. Like I said, Lex would rather have protection in here. And 2500 attack is not bad. One Archer. Got Arcanite because it's good for Tricky plus Crevance. Two Stardust for protection. Probably the visual combo. Thought Ruler is amazing in here, especially equipped with the army armor or something like that. Just because there's a lot of psychic stuff in here, and he's basically going to be negating stuff and giving you a lot of life out of it. Two Junk Destroyers. And finally, another attack for Quick Draw Chevalier de Fleur, who basically has the effect that once per turn it can negate a opponent's spell trap card, making essentially a Quick Draw Star Dragon with 2700 attack. Alright, so this is my last deck of the year, I hope possibly, but it is epic. I cannot wait to make this legitimately regional winning again. I'll keep on testing it. Last time I won the tournament, I was like 2-3 with this. Lost to 
to plant decks, I think it was. But yeah. You shall see. This is me. Got my new sexy mat from um shop nearby. Cool place, check it out, I'll quick video later. I said before I'm starting to do these starter packs slash decks that I'll have up eventually, but need some time to do that. And see you guys later. I will be out of the country f until the end of the month, basically, so don't intend to start any trades or anything. Hopefully some stuff will happen. Maybe one more teammates will post something. I don't know. So this is the Rayon signing out with the awesome new using that. See you there, YouTubes.